What's up guys, it's Paula from the Loose Joints, and today's review is going to be on the Collector's Edition uh, Street Fighter 4 for PS3. Um, just to let you guys know, I do not have a PlayStation 3. Um, my friend hooked me up with this, uh, he just wanted the game, so uh, he sold the rest of the, um, the rest of the stuff that came with this for 10 bucks. He just kept the game. So, um, here it is, um, here's just a look at the box. Um, nice packaging. Uh, very simple, I wish they came with, like, a collector's tin. But, um, it's just the box. It's just some of the stuff that comes inside of it. Um, the stuff that came with it, uh, let's get on to this first. It came with, um, a little piece of paper. Nothing on the back, but um, what this is is that um, there's a code on the bottom right here, and uh, if you uh, tap that in, then you get uh, five free costumes for uh, Street Fighter 4 that you can use in game, and um, that's a pretty cool touch. Uh, I like that they gave you uh, exclusive costumes that uh, you could use in the game, as well as um, using it on like. Uh, PSN or Xbox Live, so um, this is pretty cool that uh, they gave that to you. Um, they don't. They also gave you a collector's hint book. Um, this thing is really not useful at all. Um, basically, what it is is that they show you um, moves that the new characters have, as well as um, some combos you can do with the character. Um, the artwork is really nice. Uh, they used um, the people who write the Street Fighter comics, um, Udon, Udon Comics, actually illustrated this. So it was a pretty cool touch, but um, it was a really small book that doesn't really have a lot of um, value to it. You could easily look these combos up on like um, Street Fighter websites or fact sheets. Um, so yeah, not worth it. It's just used to advertise Udon Comics, basically. So, um, you're better off getting a strategy guide. Um, it also came with a Blu-ray um, DVD called Ties That Bind. Um, I watched this movie, and I can tell you now that it's not what I expected. It's basically... It's 60 minutes, so, but then it used, like, let's say, like, 45, or, like, three-fourths of it was talking, and then one-fourth of it was just, was fighting, but not that good fighting. Um, so, yeah, the movie wasn't that great. Um, the artwork on it is really nice, though. And, um, if you open it up here... Uh, it also comes with the soundtrack for Street Fighter 4. Here's um, the DVD. But um, the soundtrack was mediocre. It had all the stage um, music on it. But then what sucks is that it doesn't have the, um, the song called Indestructible, which was um, basically the intro song um, in the beginning of Street Fighter for when you play it. So that was kind of a disappointment, but um, yeah. <laughs> so there's a the soundtrack. And um, this basically is what you're paying uh, the extra extra 20 bucks for is this um, movie and soundtrack. And um, next up, the last thing you get is an action figure. For 360, you get um, Crimson Viper for the limited edition, but with um, the PlayStation version, you get Ryu, which to me is a better buy. So here's the limited edition Ryu. What's cool about this is that um, this is made by NECA, which is um, the <clears throat> the people who made the Street Fighter 4 figures, um, which were uh, Viper, Ken, and Ryu. So, it's pretty cool that, that it's made by NECA, but then, um, 
As you can tell, it's really small, more smaller than um, the, the actual NECA Ryu uh, that you buy at retail. Um, the detail is nice. It looks like the um, the model they used for shoot for the game. Uh, he's more buff, like the game. Uh, no articulation. Um, I think it has some articulation on the head, but then it's not noticeable at all. Um, and uh, yeah, on the on this leg there, um, right around here, is where you'd see the um, the NECA. Uh, label, but you can't see it too well on this camera. And um, that's basically all you get for uh, the extra twenty. So, like I was saying, all you get, basically the only extra, the thing you get for the twenty bucks is that Blu-ray movie and that action figure. Um, it's cool that they threw in um, the costumes that you can download, and um, the hint book is basically worthless. But yeah, so that's my review. Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll start doing my soda reviews um, soon since I've been really busy and tired because of school. So there you go, guys. Hope you liked it. Uh, later.